the point you make about power and how much power we have. Uh, obviously, in my position, I have a substantial amount of power. And you can either use that to do good things or you can use it to harm people. And I suppose what I've, it took me a while to understand it. Uh, when you get and sit in the chair, you sort of look about you know, and think, oh, well, I'm going to say, uh, for instance, we, we're going to do something about um, uh, family violence. And I looked around and think, well, is anybody going to have a go at me over that? Is that not appropriate? Well, no one did, and the world didn't collapse, and off I went and said, we are going to do something about family violence in Victoria. So you can use your power um, in the sense of influencing the way that the organisation goes. Uh, you can you know, direct them, I and mean, there's, there's a sense of that that says, this is the direction we're heading. Uh, or you can use it alternately, you know, quite badly to damage and harm people. So you do have to realise, first of all, you've got it as a leader. Second of all, you know, how do you use it and what are the limits to it? And sometimes you can overuse that power and then just sort of stuff it, really, for want of a better way. So it's, a, it's about having it, it's about using it properly, using it within an appropriate value set. So um, I, I suppose, you know, doing things like being, because of the sort of office I hold, you also know you've, you've got that sort of temporarily. It's a, and nor do I want to harm the Office of the Police Commissioner either. Um, so you've got to do things that sort of fit with it. So I think managers have capacity and power they often don't use and they often don't think about how much difference they could make um, by heading down to do things that, that might not be popular, but, but in fact would allow them to um, make enormous differences in people's lives.